Hey there. Thank you for watching this clip on solving exponential equations. When you have an equation looking like this, first thing I want to take a look at is this and this. So that reminds me sort of like a factoring. That's right. If you have set factoring, that's a good answer. Here's what you do before you can factor. You let a variable substitution. U is equal to 3 to the x. Okay, so here we have a term that looks kind of out of the place. 3 to the 2x, that's really equal to 3 to the x squared. Thus, I have a u squared minus 5u plus 6. Okay, that's pretty easy to factor. You have a u minus 2, u minus 3 equal to 0. Okay, so from there, it should be straightforward. So the first trick is recognize you need a substitution. Second trick is you need to play a little better with this leading term. Make sure it's get fit into your quadratic form first. All right, from there, let's go back solving it. So u equal to 2 or u equal to 3. And then we're going to substitute what u is. 3x to the 3 equal to 2 or... Um, 3 to the x is equal to 3. This one is pretty easy to solve. x equal to 1. We're done with. Here we have to take a little bit more um, step, I guess. Take a natural log on both sides. And then I have natural. Actually, in exam, I tell my students write a natural log on both sides. That way you don't forget to take a natural log on this right hand side. So natural log of 3 with x in the front because natural log gets you toss the hat in the front, this becomes natural log of 2. And then x is equal to natural log of 2 divided by natural log of 3. It's not a pretty number, but it's just the number. If you punch this in a calculator, it's roughly 0 0.363. Okay, so our two answers are x equal to 1, x roughly equal to 0 0.63. Okay, so that's the answer. Let me know if this helped you. This is Dr. Pan host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join this channel for more updates. Together, we can conquer math. Until then, have a confident day.